Not bad. Now you really have an aggressive look. I have to admit it, I'm really pumped for it. Do you think you can sing a metal song now? Which one do you want to hear? I, I don't know the name of it, but do you know a song that goes like this? Oh yes, I get it. I love that song. Are you ready? This time, I really messed up big time. It's all ready. We can get started. Where do you want us to take it? Friday Avenue, number 13. Do you have any idea how far that is from here? We're heading to the party. The best we can do is take it over there. I'll settle for that. Do you hear that? Let's move. It seems that part has finally arrived. Maybe this might be interesting for you? Where did you find that? Here and there. Okay, okay. Pour in exactly the three milliliters for every d dozen years you want to go back. Add another t two milliliters to run the machine and one milliliter every half hour of real t time utilization. Be as precise as possible. Okay, no problem. The m machine will start as soon as you have inserted the d destination date in the appropriate d display. Avoid t traveling into the future. The process partly uses the geomagnetic field of the Earth, and possible changes could stop you from c coming back. Just remember, you c can't jump from t time to time. Every time you're forced to return to the present. Will you be much longer? The d doors are automatic, so stay in the vicinity. Some animals could enter the machine and c come back instead of you by accident. And remember to be c careful to never interfere with the space-time continuum. Yeah, yeah, whatever. How much plutonium did he say I have to pour exactly? Mm. Well, I'll abound. What's the worst that could happen? Bravo, you dug up the date on our website. Are you satisfied now? goes there, Prithi? My name is Manny. Manny Calavera. Yeah, I mean, I am the Grim Reaper. I didn't want to scare you, Mr. Manet. Your reputation precedes you, you know. Well, you flatter me. But now, enough with the pleasantries. That's not why I'm here. I guess my time has come. Correct. But not entirely accurate. I could give you a second chance. 
anything, but spare my life. I beg you. Add me to your painting, then. In the sea, possibly large and highly visible. But that's a preposterous demand. It would be completely disproportionate. Not to mention that it would absolutely ruin the scene's pathos. Do I take that as a no, then? Forgive me, Grim Reaper. You'll have your wish. I think I see something that glitters in the net. Serves me right. Next time I'd better mind my own business. Inside there are just apple seeds, but if you really want them... smell. You must absolutely take a bath. Grab this. Do you need some more bubble bath by any chance? I have a bottle of it here with me. Okay, you can go in. You can lay it down on the bubble bath shelf. What are you doing locked in here? I'm enjoying some well-earned rest. I work as a security guard at the city museum, so situations like this don't come around that often. Luckily, Ralph, my cousin, hates Halloween and offered a cover for me. A security guard for the museum is really necessary on Halloween night? That's what I told the union. But do you think they listened? Anyway, take this. To repay the favor of the bubble bath. It's a bit wet. I don't even want to know where you kept it. The museum is closed to the public, but you can enter with this pass if you find yourself in that area. If you go, let me know if that midget has everything under control. What do you want? What about that heart rate monitor? I'm a heart patient. I need it to check my pulse. Maybe if you didn't drink so much coffee. That's easy for you to say. Night shifts here are deadly boring. Small, chubby, and a heart patient. Is there anything else? Your sarcasm leaves me completely indifferent. You have the reigning national champion of the insult contest in front of you, in case you didn't know. Nobody and nothing can beat my sharp tongue. Show me then.
You will never be half the guard your cousin is, that's for sure. Ah, uh, that's more than I can endure. Behind you, an aortic dissection. Ugh, right in the chest with surgical perfection. From the look of things, the pumpkin shape on your skull is still visible. Ugh, the pain it causes me to talk of that fruit makes me miserable. Perhaps your heart has been pierced by Cupid's arrow. I have a letter for Mr. Silence. What a sweet little wrapped fluffy. Yes, I think I'll accept his proposal. Let's just skip the small talk in the engagement ring. I have no time to waste. Did you bring the wedding rings? I have the wedding rings with me, my queen. What are you standing there for? Find us a priest to perform our wedding ceremony. Actually, I think I've already done more than enough. It's an order! We're having the ceremony over at the Meteor at the Roswell Lake. What a romantic place. Now go. I have to get ready. Your firecrackers or your life? <laughs> Do you think you can scare someone dressed like that? Not even a fly. Now that I notice, I've never seen a more ridiculous Halloween costume. Really awful. <laughs> I'm afraid I will just have to come up with something else. Nowadays, our generation is too desensitized by TV and video games. Thanks a lot, HBO. Grandma, two kids are out here making fun of me. Is someone being mean to my little Ronnie? Brats! Don't worry, honey. Now Grandma will take care of them. <laughs> you should have seen their faces.
first of all, and now. Listen, son of God, since you're one of the creator's superstars, I was wondering if you could preside over the wedding of a friend of mine. <laughs> well, actually, I'm the owner of that massive franchise of chapels, churches, and cathedrals. Who better than me, right? I'm just a little too drunk. I could use a very small bit of help. But not from above, because if my father sees me in this condition, I'll have to wait millennia for the next coming. A short review on I now pronounce you happily ever after, now you can kiss the bride, but discreetly. That kind of thing. Could this help? Oh, just what I needed. We'll see you at the wedding then. But you don't even know where the wedding is. Brother, I may be wasted, but I'm still omniscient after all. See you later. <laughs> Hey, honey, look what I have for you. You didn't think for a moment that someone might hear the bang of the explosion and call the police? You didn't think for a moment that someone might hear the bang of the explosion and call the police? Mm. 28 days, 6 hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds. That is when the world will... Can you turn the music up full volume? Thirty seconds should be enough. Maybe I overdid it with the gunpowder. Done.
By the power vested in me by my father, I now pronounce you man and wife. And now, come back home to update your relationship status on Facebook. Or my husband will hear us. Express Courier, 24 hours, 7 days a week. 00845890 all packages must be impact proof, water repellent, and the contents must be clearly indicated outside the box. Mm. The capsaicin level inside is over 9,000! seconds. Good evening, how's it going? My name's Skinny. At last. Welcome, please. Come, sit. I suppose you haven't noticed there's only one chair, right? You see, you may have spent the last few years of your life looking for me, but I have spent my entire life looking for you. Actually, we just met. Not that I have any objections, but I don't think you'd be my type anyway. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. I thank you, decline your offer, and move on. I don't see you having much fun. Do you really want to know why? Yes, I would like that very much. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Come on, cut it out and tell me. I forgot my pill. Pill? My blue pill. Ah. Now I've really got to go, before I go mad as well. And we'll be screwed if at least one of us doesn't remain sane around here, right? That is when the world will end. Do you think telephone booths work for charity? Before you put in the coins, you should pick up the receiver.
I come in peace. I'm calling from Earth. I don't understand anything you're saying. Phone home. Well, I tried. Wake up, Neo. The Matrix has you. Follow the White Rabbit. I have something with me that will make you very happy. What is it? Red Pill. You take a trip to Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. I'm not completely convinced. It's strawberry flavor. What does the rest matter? Ah, you're right. Give it to me. I think I'm still tripping. He was right anyway. Strawberry flavor. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Ashcliff Hospital. You gave me a bleeding fright. Did you come to see me? Actually, I don't even know what I'm doing here. <sighs> nobody comes here to visit me. Always just the patients. Don't nobody ask for poor Amber. Do you know why I'm called Amber? I don't care. It's for the color of my hair. Compelling. Were you looking for me? Not at all. I can tell you about my day if you want. It's very interesting. Actually, I'm trying to attract the attention of those three guys in there, but it seems they can't hear me. You only think about the patients. What did I ever do to you? Nothing, in fact. I just want to talk with them. All right, fine. Farewell. Guys, they're Skinny. Hey, hola. Do you know my name? Skinny, I created you. You think I don't know your name? How can I leave this place? You just need to keep your eyes shut long enough. And always remember that nobody can see past their own choices. Are you telling me I'm the master of my own destiny? Hell no. You're in a damned adventure game. Twenty-eight days, six hours, forty-two minutes, twelve seconds. Hello, Hippie Express Courier. How can I help you? Good evening. I'd like to arrange the delivery of a casket to number 13 Friday Avenue. Expenditures are charged to the consignee. Are you aware of the packaging regulations of our service? Tell me. To avoid damage during transportation, we ask you to wrap the object with a material that can soften impact. Usually it's plastic or bubble wrap, but you can use any solution you prefer. 
Yes, that's no problem. We also ask that the outer casing of the package is absolutely water resistant. It might seem a strange demand, but in the past, our drivers have shown a certain fondness for water courses in this area. I'm equipped for that too. And finally, it is necessary to identify the package with a written note clearly indicating its contents. Yes, Alex, I have the solution. Sorry, I don't think I heard correctly. Oh, I, I mean, no problem. I'll authorize a courier for your delivery. Thanks for calling us. Goodbye. I'm waiting for a courier to take the wardrobe away. Could you maybe pack me inside using this kit? I have to create a nice prank. Dude, I'm always ready to help out with these kind of things. I wish I could see his face. I can't imagine what a Friday will have. Neither can I, believe me. Ronald? Ronald, wake up! Ronald, it's me, Skinny. Do you really not recognize me? Remember? Me and you were going to conquer the world. We kept on saying that we were meant to do great things. Well, in a way, I guess that happened, but nobody could have imagined all this. You couldn't know about my allergy. Even I wasn't aware of it. Ultimately, there are a lot of perks to being dead. I have an infinite amount of free time, and I can eat everything I want without being worried about my weight. I'm even immune to electricity. Like I'm a superhero. I'm sorry you suffered so much. I know how tough things have been for you since that day. You have nothing to blame yourself for, believe me. I have nothing to blame you for. I couldn't breathe. I just heard you screaming. It wasn't difficult to understand what was going on, but incredibly that was the last thing I remember. No light to follow, no extracorporeal experience, just a big nothing. Disappointing, don't you think? When I finally woke up, all was dark. It took me a while to realize I was in a wardrobe, in this wardrobe. I know, it's really absurd, but it's the truth. I've been brought back to life and now I'm a skeleton. You have to go back to talking. If you don't tell somebody about what happened that day, you'll end up being damned for eternity. That's why I'm here. Because I love you, Ronald. Skinny. Skinny, wait! Don't go! This party really died. Ah yes, I almost
almost forgot. <laughs> 